Bonsoir famille, good afternoon family. Est-ce que vous voulez apprendre créole jeudi? Would you like to learn creole today, jeudi? I hope so, because today we are going to be focusing on this word, esque. This word esque is a question marker. It turns your sentence into a question, like, I'm going to give you an example. Moi, relé, Bertrude. My name is Bertrude. I could say, esque moi, relé, Bertrude? Is my name Bertrude? Esque is a beautiful word because it turns that entire sentence into a question. So I've created a couple of structures for you to help you easily use the word esque. Granted, this isn't the only way that you can use esque, but this is a very user-friendly, easy method of using esque. So in this sentence, uh, we start off with esque. Esque in this situation is always going to be in the beginning. Esque, and then you're going to use, um, you're going to explain who you're talking to. Are you talking to Myself, moi, are you talking to you? Ou, li, he, she, or it? Um, nous is we, nous, you all, or yo is they all. So you're gonna right there say who you're speaking to. Then you're gonna go ahead and use some of the, the key words that I've taught you, like vle. I'll use vle for example. Vle means want. Um, and then we are able to use um, right here our verbs, uh, pale is to talk. And so with that, we create a sentence with four parts. Start with esque, then you could say ou, vle, pale. Esque ou vle pale? You want to speak? Do you want to speak? So with that, we can very easily see that you could kind of change things up. You don't necessarily need to say vle. I could say, Esque ou besoin parler? Besoin means need. Do you need to speak? Esque ou besoin parler? I could also say um, a, a couple of other things, but we'll go ahead and stick with vle and besoin when I'm talking about parler. All right, so if you want to answer the question, you can either say yes or no. So, esque ou vle parler? Do you want to speak? If you want to say yes, I typically encourage you not to just say we. Oui. Go ahead and give a full sentence. And with giving a full sentence, you're basically just repeating the question. So, est-ce que vous voulez parler? If you want to speak, you could say we. Oui. Moi voulez parler. Yes, I want to speak, to talk. If you want to say no, you don't want to. No, moi pas voulez parler. Pas. You always use that right before you're going to be using the vle besoin gagne because it, it negates it. So if you say no, then you have to also say pa. No, moi pa vle parler. So let's go ahead and run through this really quickly. Est-ce que vous voulez parler? Hopefully you're saying oui, moi vle parler. If you want to go on further, est-ce que vous voulez parler créole jeudi? Would you like to speak Creole today? Oui, moi vle parle Creole jodi Let's go ahead and mix it up a little bit. We know in our formula here, we begin with esque. Um, after we begin with esque, you go ahead and you're either saying moi, which is I, moi, not mwen. I hear a lot of people saying mwen, not mwen. The E-N is an E eh sound. Moi, ou is you, li is he, she, or it, nu is we, nu is also you all, and then um, yo, excuse me, that should be a y o, yo is the plural of li, and it is they. So I could say, esque yo, do they, so moving forward, I can either say vle or I actually want to play around with bezwen. Est-ce que yo besoin manger? I don't know if you all remember what manger meant from my previous um, talks, but manger means to eat. So if I say, est-ce que yo besoin manger? Do they need to eat is the question. Um, I also want to say that 
in previous videos, I've spoken about gain or the longer elongated version of that is gain. Um, and gain means to have. Est-ce que yo gain manger? Do they have food? Because manger means to eat or also means food. Est-ce que yo vle manger? Do they want to eat? You can already see. You can play around with sentences. Make as many sentences as you want in your mind. Um, also, with the blue, we could see, you could say vle means want. Besoin means to need. Gain or gain means to have. And I'm going to throw in a new one for this video. Ka, it means to be able to. Est-ce que ou ka parle creole? Est-ce que ou ka parle creole? Can you speak creole? You say, no, moi pas ka parle creole. Or hopefully, oui, moi ka parle creole. Yes, I can speak creole. Moving forward, I want to give you all a couple of more verbs to play around with. We already know manger is to eat, or it means food as well. Danser is to dance. Aller is to go. Aller is to go. Vini is to come. And these you should be aware of through the other videos that I um, gave you. But I'm going to add in two other ones for you. Sa means this or that. So, est-ce que vous voulez ça? Est-ce que vous voulez ça? Do you want this? Est-ce que vous voulez ça? Do you want that? And that just means it's, it's a little bit further. Est-ce que vous voulez ça? So this and that, you use ça. And then again, don't forget, li means it. Um, so I could say, do you want it? Moi, je mange. I have food. Est-ce que vous voulez li? Do you want it? I hope these are already starting to uh, kind of come together. If you need to pause, rewind, and make sure that you're understanding, please make sure that you do it. Um, because once you start getting these foundational things, you can really begin to, to, to grow with Haitian Creole. Um, now, although I gave you only a couple of verbs, I encourage you, go online and sit, look up Haitian Creole verbs. And even if I don't have the verbs here for you, there are so many resources. I looked up a website uh, right before I recorded this, and it has 104 Haitian Creole verbs. I could say, est-ce que vous voulez uh, habiller? Do you want to get dressed? Est-ce que vous voulez habiller? Oui, moi je voulais habiller. Or, no, moi pas voulais habiller. Um, est-ce que vous voulez um, écrit? Would you like to write? Oui, moi voulais écrit. Yes, I want to, to write. And again, I'm sticking with the vle, but you could also say besoin. Est-ce que vous besoin dormi? Dormi is to sleep. Est-ce que vous besoin dormi? Oui, moi besoin dormi. Or, no, moi pas besoin dormi. Um, as you elongate the sentence, and as you become more fluent in Haitian Creole, you'll see that the sentences don't have to stop with these four basic building blocks. You can continue. Est-ce que vous besoin dormi demain? Do you need to sleep demain? Tomorrow? Oui, besoin dormi demain. Or demain, oui, besoin dormi. You can play around with it because Haitian Creole, oh, it's such a beautiful language. So go ahead and make sure that you use this structure if you're new to the Haitian Creole language because it will definitely help you in communicating. Merci en pile. Nawepita. See you later.